Can you imagine how much people would hate me if I had spent the last two months being like, you have to stand with Israel? <laughs> Can you imagine? If, if I just like, if I, was, if I was one of the people that like, it's time to draw a line. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. understand why you haven't. It's a good bit. It would be pretty funny. It'd be a good bit. It is funny watching like the 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 some of the the like uh, like uh, free speech aspects of the New York comedy scene go that route. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, those guys are going. You yeah, got they're worried about anti semitism Well, you know, there's videos of a couple. Like, of them. Yeah, they're like, we got to call out anti semitism. It's like you do black, you do literal blackface. You literally podcast. point at Asian people in the front row right. and say, "Like, where's your calculator?" You, I've seen you. You, I've seen you say, "I don't speak German," <laughs> but I imagine you've said more <laughs> bad things than Hitler did ever. <laughs> I don't, like, I don't know what I can't. I don't know what Hitler's saying in his speeches, but a cumulative whole hour of hosting. I guarantee you, <laughs> what you've said has been worse. Yeah, yeah. A couple of them fellas. Yeah. A couple of them fellas really go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. then they say, <laughs> "But hey, come on, hey, hey, we got to call out anti-Semitism." Really, hey, you can't really can't be doing any anti-Semitism. It is very funny to be free speech, and then that's the one. Mm-hmm. And then, and then you don't expect it. Well, anyone. I don't know the defense of all of that. The defense of like the quote unquote right wing aspects of the comedy scene has always been that they're like too stupid to really you know i mean it's not none of it's based in like principles yeah it's kind of dumb yeah and it's right. also a baby it's like don't you can't tell me yeah what I'm, right. I'm saying don't yeah, tell right. me what to do yeah, yeah. it's just an it's like getting mad at a dog it's like being a baby yeah, yeah right. yelling at a baby mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man uh-huh. no but it is but there there i mean it is having the free speech be a right wing thing is bizarre to me. Still, I like can't understand it. It's not though, because but first of all, no one means it anymore. No one means it. No one's ever, and no one's meant it. Probably since like Paul Revere. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't like it's not a, like people don't actually care about free expression. I don't think they ever have. It's like a well, they, in the what do you call it in Skokie, Illinois, in the the Nazi march. The uh, ACLU represented the Nazis. Yeah, well, the ACLU That's doesn't. What you learn do that. about in government class. You know? Yeah, but the ACLU doesn't do that, and they made, they explicitly said they will not defend hate speech. It was Charlottesville. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. They signed that letter saying they won't do it. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I always thought that was really tight. That those guys were like, no, it's these guys are literally Nazis. They're the worst. Yeah, but Nazis the fact that they would change their tune when it's like there's any actual because like the Nazis of those years. Or like that, like the old, the neo Nazis prior to like 2010, like the ones that have been around our entire lives, were like literally just cosplayers. Like they were more into wearing the swastikas and like they wanted to be, they weren't neo Nazis. They were reenactment. They were basically, literally, yes. They, it was more, they were just like, they they liked liked learning about troop movements. Oh, right. They wanted to do the day. They wanted to wear the boots. They were just like Tom of Finland. They're gay. (laughs) Basically, they're just fucking homos. It's not like, you know, they were, they weren't like, I don't think those kinds of Nazis ever did any like terrorist attacks. I haven't looked into it, but I don't really think they did anything. Right wing violence was mostly like, I like veterans that were like homesteaders that like you know like the guy that took over a post office at Amon yeah, yeah. the guy you know that kind of shit in Oregon or, or Waco or Ruby yeah. Ridge or anything yeah. it's like it's not you know like Nazis so I don't like defending like a bunch of retards right to wear like World War II costumes and go down the street that's not really I don't really think like much of a commitment actually to to free speech defending it after charlottesville that would have been and it would have shown some like consistency i'd say the stakes were lower yeah you know what i mean probably. so when there's actually there actually are stakes that's when so I, I i stand by my statement that nobody's ever actually cared about well i think the thing in skokie was that it was a, they, they had a big population of holocaust survivors that lived there mm-hmm. and so that they were like this is really mean to be wearing those costumes mm-hmm. walking down the street and then I think there were like Jewish lawyers at the ACLU that were like, you have to let them do it. You know? Yeah. But it's also like weird because the right wing guys are also like trying to ban Harry Potter and stuff. Mm-hmm. And say like uh, getting mad at Disney. <laughs> like they're like, we're free speech warriors, but we're also like pissed off at Mickey Mouse. <laughs>